Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brentcast Gaming Talk. The first I heard of the news I'm about to share with you is through a Facebook post, so I decided to look into it, and now you're probably wondering what that is, even though you've read the title of the video. I used to like the card game Magic the Gathering a lot more than I do now. When I started, I spent a lot of money on various things related to the card game, and I have sold a lot of stuff as well, to the point that now I only have 15 or so 60 card decks for one format, I can't remember which one, and four commander decks and no extra cards at all because I don't have the space for it. Now I know with Magic the Gathering that there is a story with each set that I think is on the cards. I don't usually bother with the story. Because honestly, Magic the Gathering is something you don't have to understand the story of to be able to play the game, especially since there's so many formats to the game. Now I bring up story because this ties into the news I'm sharing, and that's that coming at some point to Netflix is going to be an animated Magic the Gathering series. Directors Joe and Anthony Russo, yeah, you know what they're known for, Wizards of the Coast, the people that make the Magic the Gathering game, and Hasbro's Allspark Animation are teaming up with Netflix to make the animated series for Magic the Gathering. Now for those who are like, wait, why is Hasbro involved? Well, Hasbro owns Wizards of the Coast, and so they own Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons as well. So, the Russos are the executive producers. Henry Gilroy and Josie, I don't know if this is Josie or Jose, we'll say Josie Molina, are the writers and co-executive producers. Yoriaka Mashuziku are the supervising is the supervising director and co-executive producer. Octopi will oversee production with Todd Makaroth, Eric Calderon, and Dave Newberg serving as the producers. Mike LaRock and Isaac Krauss serving as the executive producers as well and finally Bardell Entertainment will handle the animation side of things for the series and I apologize if I mispronounced any of those names. The series itself will be all new stories that will expand upon the stories of the Planeswalkers, the actual named characters in the world of Magic the Gathering. So what do I think of all of this? I don't really know what to think of it still. I'm more in the middle area of, alright, sure, to, I don't think this is a good idea at all. The thing that comes to mind for me is that through all of the advertising that Wizards does and all the various video game versions of Magic the Gathering, Planeswalkers never have spoken. And so, putting a voice to characters that have been a part of the Magic the Gathering world for a long time are going to seem a little weird. Like, hearing these characters speak, you'll be like, huh, that's not how I imagined such and such character to sound. Since we literally have no previous idea of how these characters sound since they never speak. Also, with what I was saying earlier, is that when I'm playing Magic the Gathering and I pull out a Sarkon. I've never thought, man, I wonder what this guy's story is. Guess I'll never know. It's not something I ever cared about myself, and I'm sure that there are people who have cared about this sort of thing, and that's fine, but Magic the Gathering seems to be fine without really knowing all of the background story information on the Planeswalkers to enjoy playing the card game. Now, I will give Wizards and everyone involved props, because I appreciate the idea of doing all this world building and character building in their universe where the story may be there, but seems to be very convoluted, and so doing this will get the story across in a more easy to understand way. But, I still stand by the fact that I don't think it's very necessary to make this. But, I'm not going to write it off before it's out, and I'll probably give the series the three episode test when it comes out, just to give it a chance. That's all I have to say, so if you're out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.